Bolingbrook and Bennett Academy going head to head in the sectional championship. Red Wings in search of their third sectional plaque in the last four years. Six state championships between these two schools over the last 14 years. Opening minutes, Ashley Berry tracks down a rebound and Kendall Holmes takes advantage of the open look from three. 5-0 Bennett. Next time down the floor, Brooke Schramick with an open look from up top. Sophomore Morgan Damos with the rebound and put back to extend the BA lead. Red Wings getting good looks from three in the first quarter. Molly Sheehan buries the triple, Bennett up 10 to five. Brooke Schramick slowed by knee and hamstring injuries, but she battles through and buries the three in the early going for the Red Wings. Bolingbroke with a nice pick and roll as Danielle Middleton finds Deanna Richardson for the layup. Raiders down 13-12. Near the end of the first quarter, Kendall Holmes splashes home a three from the corner. Her second of the quarter puts B.A. up 16-12. Final seconds of the first, Molly Sheehan drives and kicks to Kendall Moriarty, who hits the three to put Bennett up seven. Raiders inbound the ball with the clock ticking and Jaden Maribel heaves from half court and gets nothing but net. 19-15 Bennett, but a big momentum swing to end the quarter. Midway through the second, Bennett in transition as Maribel hits the pull-up jumper to put the Raiders down by one. Near the end of the first half, Bolingbrook with strong transition offense as Kennedy Perkins finds Jaden Maribel for the layup. We go into halftime all tied up at 29. A game high 24 for the Northern Illinois recruit. First minute of the third, Lexi Moriarty with a nice drive. She gets her own board and puts it in to retake the lead for Bennett. Raiders with the response as Perkins gets in the middle of the zone for the mid-range J to tie the game at 33. Still in the third, Bennett daring Danielle Middleton to shoot as she has struggled all game long. But she hits this one from the corner and suddenly Bolingbrook leads 38-33. Raiders taking control in the third. Kennedy Perkins drives and misses, but gets it back from Deanna Richardson and converts for the and one layup. Bolingbrook up 43-35. 20 on the night for Perkins. Bennett battling back, turning to leading scorer Kendall Holmes, who hits her 4-3 of the game. Red Wings down 5, heading to the 4th. Red Wings down 43-38. Morgan Demos can't quite get her layup to go and Bolingbrook immediately on the run. Middleton gets the layup and draws the foul on Holmes. A big swing puts the Raiders up 46-38. Holmes not ready to give up. She drives and gets the tough layup to go and draws the foul. Bennett down 47-41 with four minutes to play as Holmes pours in 22 points. But Bolingbrook is able to put the game away late. Treasure Thompson follows the Lexi Moriarty block as Bolingbrook shocks the top-seeded Red Wings to win the sectional title. The Red Wings will face Whitney Young in the Super Sectional. Bennett ends another fantastic season with a 29-3 record. We weren't able to get back. Um, that's something that we should have done a better job of, um, is getting back in transition because they, they absolutely killed us in that. And, I mean, they're very athletic, very, very quick, very fast, very... Just a good team all around, and we weren't able to do well today. Like I told the girl, all the pressure was on them today. Yeah. They was coming in as an overrun team in the state. The pressure was on them. They was in their home court, and they're going to halftime with a tie game. And with Trent was picking up those fouls early and attacking the foul. So the pressure was on them. They had to come out of the next 16 minutes. So we played pressure-free basketball in the second half. That's the thing, they, 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 they change ends really well, right? So you miss three in a row, you know, all three of the, and if you're hitting the glass like, like we were, now those three are run outs. So, you know, us missing shots gave them more transition opportunities. Uh, we weren't able to get back load up, which I thought they hurt us in transition. First half, I thought that was really all they hurt us on, you know. Yeah. Second half, I thought, you know, uh, we just, Miss shots, they get run outs, and it changes the game. Yeah, I've, I've loved playing with these seniors. I mean, I've known most of them since I was in fifth grade, sixth grade. So it kind of hurts to like end my season and not get a win at the end of it. But I mean, I'll love these girls till the day I die. And I mean, if they ever need anything, they can reach out to me. I'm, I can do the same to them. I know that they'll always be loyal.
always be there for each other, and I couldn't ask any more of them. They gave it their all throughout the entire season and tonight. Losing tonight does not detract from an absolutely amazing season. And it wasn't just the, the results, but the way the girls went about it. I'm incredibly proud of this group. They're, you know, the, 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 to win 29 against the schedule we played was an amazing feat. To lose one game tonight to a good team who just played better than us tonight. And I give them credit for that. They played better than us tonight. Um, but, you know, that doesn't detract from what this group did, and I'm very pleased, very proud of them, and you know, I, I know this really stings. I know they're gonna be uh, very dejected for a couple days. I told them, go ahead and feel it, you know, be sad, be disappointed, be angry, whatever, but in a day or two, I want you to step back and recognize what you were able to accomplish this year, uh, and really, for some of them over the last four years, you look at these seniors in the four-year run they've had, I mean, you, you couldn't ask for more.